see. His voice just got deeper. I mean, it's this is like a time skip, I think, isn't it? Project G was Angeal's mother's experiment. I apprehended Hollander and Modeo and turned him over to the company. In Modeo and turned him over to the company. After that, the company put me on standby. That was a while ago now. Shinra apparently is in disarray right now. Turks are hanging around me every day. They say our vacations overlapped coincidentally. You know, right. But none of them ever mentioned Angeal or Genesis. Almost as if they never existed. Is that how little soldier is worth these days? What do I have left to fight for? What am I fighting for? What is soldier honor? Ooh. Oh my god, I'm making that. 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 Tonight. Tonight. Suntan lotion? Uh, no. Never mind that. What is this? Are they putting me out to pasture? You could use some r and &R. I'm bored. That's it. I'm calling them. Director Lazard's not in. He's been missing for a while now. It was Lazard who was funding Hollander's research. <laughs> I'm making that tonight after stream. Money. Are you serious? Who's in We're interrogating Hollander. So oh, I remember this scene from the soon. opening of Kingdom Hearts. This is great. What's wrong with them? Oh, it's Kyrie and Axel before he dyed his hair red. People. What are they all thinking? The truth lies within each person. The fuck does but that even mean? truth seems Oh, suspect. this is that Turk girl. Once it leaves their I was mouths. like, who the fuck is this? I forgot it's Sisney. Sisney. Go do something. Calling Aerith? How do you know that? Am I being watched? No, you talk no, about she's her all the, the time. the one being watched. Huh? That girl is an ancient. The only one left in the world. You didn't know? She never said anything the only one what left are in these the world. fucking swim trunks zach bro come she on you've got better fashion sense than this i know you do actually maybe i don't know you heads up genesis copies uh okay oh you got to be fucking kidding me Combat mode. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Good thing I have my materia equipped at least. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit of overkill. Oh, please get Odin. Please get Odin. Oh, no. Wow. Even more overkill. That's fine. Look, dude. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of overkill for this. Give him the Baja Blast. You really looking forward to the remake versions of June and Harbor and Costa del Sol? Honestly, I know this is weird, but I'm looking forward to the Corel. Um, I'm looking forward to Corel and Cosmo Canyon a lot. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Ba, 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 ba. Wutai will be neat? Oh, for sure. Wutai will be soon. Conflict resolved. Is still around? Genesis. The Genesis is still around too. Huh? When the soul leaves the body, it returns to the life stream. Yeah, and? The river of souls that circles our planet. Perhaps Genesis's soul is trolling copies from the live stream. Is that what you're telling me? I mean, I didn't say it. Merely a suspicion. Uh, in any case, your vac your vacation is over, Zach. 
Junon is under attack by an unknown force. You're going there with me to investigate. Oh, this is that street in Junon. Interesting. Ah, so we went back over the ocean to Junon. This is terrible. I'd say that's prime. Uh, Kyra Arik! Thank you for the Twitch Prime! Genesis Copy's here too. Just running wild. Activating combat mode. Thank you, Kyra. I feel like I'm doing more damage with the mustard stuff too. Hollander is currently in Juno. His presence here in this attack can't be unrelated. Not over, is it? Begin evacuating the residents. Zach, you find Hollander and make sure he's kept safe. Making me babysit Hollander? Don't you think I'd be put better to use on the battlefield? Hollander has access to top secret information. The president insists that his safety is priority one. Director Lazard's sudden disappearance, soldier's chain of command, has been shaky at best. The attack is an attempt to exploit that weakness, Zach. You must protect Hollander. Hollander is currently being held in a detention center on the 8th level of Upper Juno. Use the emergency elevator to go up. It's the end of this path. Zach, we're counting on you. Okay. Hollander is still being interrogated. He can't fall into enemy hands now. Understood. Okay. Okay, so hang on. Let me check my equipment. Ooh! We got sexy Zach! Look at that face! Ooh, yeah! Uh, what else could I equip? Um... Enable critical. Let's try this. Chad Zack. The Chad Zack versus the Virgin Cloud. So I know I need to find Hollander, but... What if... <coughs> I wasn't able to do this. Seeking priceless items. Let's try this. Because now I got the Buster Sword. I don't actually know if that makes me deal more damage or not. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Hot. Hot. Wow, this thing does a lot of damage. It does raise damage? Okay. Yeah, it feels like I'm doing more Oh shit, wait a second. He's here. So I still don't know what the fuck this does. Apocalypse, level 4. Show me the true power of soldier. Mind your own business! What the hell is this? Whoa. Yeah, you oh, shit, yeah. bitch. I didn't realize Zack had like a fashion mullet. I always thought his hair was kind of like Leo from Guilty Gear, but he's got like a he's got kind of like a fashion mullet. Opera Omnia, that attack is busted as fuck. Sounds right. Looks pretty busted. I couldn't get into the art style of Opera Omnia. That was my biggest problem. The art style is weird, but the game is super fun. Interesting. Uh, you can't put the words fashion and mullet together like that. Uh, I got bad news for you. More people than me have done it. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Hi. I got shit to do. Hi. 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 
How is FFBE War of the Lions related to regular FFBE? Wait. FFBE War of the Lions? You mean War of the Visions? Activating combat mode. War of the Visions. War of the Visions is uh, War of the Visions is more like a tactics game. Oh, War of the Lions. War of the Lions is is Final Fantasy Tactics. War of the Visions is Brave Exodus. Activating combat mode. No, they're different games. I think you're I think you're confused, Nesbitt. Item fusion tone. There's an FFT collab going on right now. Oh, I guess that would be very good. Materia fusion. Ooh, item. Okay. Enables items in materia fusion. So do I only have a limited use of that? There's Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics War Lions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius War of the Vision. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, that where the, the confusion is. One of the things that I thought was really, really impressive with, um, about Final Fantasy, uh, do you like the design of the Buster Sword in this game or FF7? I haven't seen it really in FF7 Remake. I need to see more of it. Um... Gerard has a replica of this Buster Sword in his office, though. It's pretty cool. It's like scale, also. It's fucking humongous. FF7R and all its JPEG glory. I mean, from everything I've seen, it looks amazing. I enjoyed the heck out of it and jumped right back in to do a completion stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm glad that people are enjoying it. I mean, I was telling my roommate that, like, I've been looking forward to Final Fantasy VII, the remake, since... Remember the PS3 tech demo for Final Fantasy VII? And everybody was like... Everybody was like, oh my god, they're remaking it! And they kept being like, no, we're not remaking it! We're not remaking it, it's just a tech demo! Tech demo, just a tech demo. It's just a tech demo. Oh yeah! And then they remade it, because they knew they'd make a million, billion dollars. I wonder how many copies they've sold of FF7R. Like, honestly. You think they've sold, they've probably sold at least a million copies. At least two million copies. Three and a half million in the first four days? Whoa. Risk respect. Prevents curse. Wow. We all knew it was going to sell like hotcakes. Well, I mean, I, I kind of figured it would. Activating combat mode. Even if the game sucked, people would have bought it off nostalgia alone. I am inclined to agree with you. Woo, level up. So what am I now? Look 32? Yeah, Jesus Christ. I could probably beat the final boss if I really wanted to. Oh wait, I got a different Oh! Oh, because I unlocked Cloud now. Oh, okay. We got Meteor Rain. Okay, okay, that's good. Cool. My question is this, and I really want to know. What's gonna happen is in FF7, right? Um, in the remake, the second part, are they gonna carry over our progress, or is it gonna be like starting over from from ground up? No idea. I mean, I know, I I know that nobody can really have the answer to that. I'm just wondering. I'm just speculating. is rebooted PS3 project. Outside the starting area, if you pay attention, there's lots of PS3 quality assets in the environment. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me at all. And 
max level is yeah. Interesting. Later, conflict resolved. I... The fact that there's so much asset quality variation tells you the game had a very long and troubled development history. But mode. it's still fun, right? Like, it's still a fun and enjoyable game. Yeah, okay. I'm excited to play it. I really am. Um, I just... Like, people were complaining about the episodic stuff, and like... I was saying that... I don't mind episodic gaming as... as long as your progress carries over between episodes. Like, um, did anybody ever play the Penny Arcade game? You could carry... you could bring your character between the games. And, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was really nice, so that didn't bother me as much. Tch, a Squeenix game with a long and troubled development? Man, how unheard of. Laughs in 13 verses, yeah. Activating combat like Mass Effect, exactly. Well, Mass Effect less so. Because Mass Effect, you're sort of just like... You're sort of remaking, you're sort of remaking your character from level 1. DQ11 didn't have a particularly long and troubled development. I mean, and DQ11 was apparently awesome. A keychain? Key What's that? Adds an additional slot for accessories to be equipped. Yo! What? That's fucking crazy strong. The diamond bracelets, magic and spirit, and defense. So now I'm immune to poison, silence, and stun. Yo, Yankee with no brim. Yo, Yankee with no Yankee. Yo, brim with no Yankee. Versus 13 was originally more adult-oriented, I believe. The first trailer was not stabbing human soldiers. I didn't know that. Activating combat Yankee memes are top shit for 2020. I don't... Like, somebody... Okay, somebody was saying something the other day. I can't remember if I saw it on Twitter or not. But somebody was like, memes are so, like, quick nowadays. Like, back in the early days of the internet, if a meme was around, it was around for years. Years you would see it. Years. Now the fucking giant baby meme is here and then it's gone. It's here and then it's gone. That's it. Wait, there was a giant baby meme? Oh, you're you're already behind the times. It's already gone. You don't even know about that meme? Just look it up. Look up giant baby. Yeah, right? You know what they're gonna do for FF7 Remake Part 2 is copy the Mass Effect importing system, but with their own SQ twist? Um... I would... I mean, are there a lot of choices that you make that affect the story? In Final Fantasy Remake? I mean... The whole reason that they did the import system with Mass Effect was because there were choices that affected important characters and plot points. Like, Rex and, uh, you know, Ashley or, or Kaden. Stuff like that. Some affect the plot. Oh, okay. Well, they will do it that way. When? Activating combat mode. When they set it up for future bits, uh, with the ending of the first game, you think later bits will have a branching error. Wow, well, that's more work for them.
that's more work for them if they want to do it that way. Activating combat mode. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, never mind. Well, different, change the subject, change the subject. Let's not talk about it. Man, it's so crazy to see all these, like, two-plus year, or, like, ten-month year sub-badges. I need to add more sub-badges. I need to add five-year sub-badges eventually, because I don't have them yet. Am I liking Gact? Uh, he's intense. months. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thunder armlet. I already had one of those. These seem like really, like, good item missions, though. Yeah, make a reactor too. Oh shit, I just realized. We're totally gonna meet Tifa in this, aren't we? And it's gonna be Cowboy Hat Tifa! Gact is the reason we can't have a crisis car remake. Yeah, well, if they use his likeness. Why can't they just change his likeness? Can't they just change the character's likeness to make him look like someone else? to have this explained to me um as well yesterday uh Gat is a singer in japan who genesis is based off of does he voice him in japanese i kind of figured he would yeah. genesis is gax mount fans 7 oc do not steal some streamers have said that if ff7 re does good it'll set a standard for future remakes? I mean, it, it has done good. It sold three and a half million copies. That's pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Three and a half million times, I don't know, let's say 60. Yeah, that's like $210 million in the first three days. And I'm gonna buy it. So that's $210 million and $60, at least. Oh, not counting collector's editions. Also true. And actually, come to think of it, they probably spent a lot of money on marketing, too. Uh, person man thing, thank you for the 100. I was supposed to play it dressed as Tifa, but unfortunately, I had to leave my office during the quarantine, uh, which meant I had to leave my cosplay at the office, so I don't I'm have trying. it. I'm trying! I'm trying! Oh yeah! Conflict resolved. Did they nuke the dragons? Yeah, in the cave. Did you see that shit? Wait, what did I get from that? A dragon arm. Have damage to fire, ice, and lightning based attacks. Ooh, that's very good.
Remake Genesis with the likeness of Hard Gay. Genesis, whoo! Uh, I've had this discussion of Remake versus Remaster with a lot of people. I would say, I mean, I'm, I'm no expert on this, but a remaster to me means it's the original game slightly upgraded. A remake means it is completely redone from the ground up. That's, that, that's what it means to me. So, like, the Spyro games, remakes. The remaster, um, uh, Dark Souls. Although, they didn't change much. They just fixed the frame rate. Yeah, the Spyro games are straight-up remakes. I don't know why people were calling them remasters. Those are straight up remakes. They even re recorded the dialogue for God's sake. Oh, um, okay, okay. Um, I know what I would con constitute a remaster. Um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3DS. Those are remasters. Those are not remakes. Because it uses the same, um,. It uses the same rigs as the N64 version. So what is Resident Evil 1? The... The... The remake? They remade it, didn't they? They remade that. That was totally remade. Shadow of the Colossus is a remake, exactly. Activating combat mode. Yeah. Ocarina of Time 3D uses the same engine as well. Yeah, so it's a remaster. Honestly, I feel like if Nintendo, well, not that this is ever gonna happen, but I think Nintendo somewhere in the in their office in, in uh, Kyoto has a box that says break in case of emergency and if they're ever gonna in like super serious financial trouble they'll break it and inside is a master copy of ocarina of time remake i really honestly think that that was square with ff7r yeah sounds right Oh, Chrono Trigger Remake. I really don't think that's ever gonna happen. It won't. FF10 and 10.2 remasters are great example of remasters, FYI. They don't have the same engine and code, uh, and they have high resolution textures and models. Yes, Mail Malay, exactly! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect, that's a perfect example. Actually, I have it right here. HD remaster. And they do look better, by the way. I was comparing the remaster to the original for both these games, and it's super different. Activating combat mode. Shadow of the Colossus remake, essentially nothing changed content-wise, was rebuilt, whereas FF7R is a remaster that's different from the original. Well, um, you know what one remake that I never hear anybody talk about is? Um, Chain of Memories. Because Chain of Memories was originally for GBA, and then they remade it for, I think, what was it, PS2 or PS3? They just straight up remade it. Well, regardless of whether or not it sucked, like... Wait, I didn't see what I got. Shit. I 
would say that's pride. Paralyzing stock and backpack. And one more slot for additional access. Over the um, hey! Uh... Andrea, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I hope you feel better. ESP development project? What? What the fuck is this? Dream drop distance is real bad and it's frustrating. That was the, um... That was the... Oh, fuck. What do you call it? Uh... A DS, right? 3DS? Yeah. DDD, that makes sense. Remember when every game that was on DS had to use DS in its initials to show that it was on DS? Like Dawn of Sorrow? And, um, Dust Strikers? And, uh... Well, they didn't have to. But they did it to show that it was a DS version. better than slapping 64 under the end. What, you don't like uh, Mega Man 64? Get that truth. Shut up. I'm trying to think of another example of a game that did that. I know there is oh, one. Yeah. Oh, Activating combat oh, mode. God, and fuck. Yeah, Devil oh, yeah. Survivor. There you go. All that stuff. Activating combat mode. Mega Man 64 was a mediocre port of a mediocre game. Oh, come on. Nail Malay. Really? They're gonna go there? I love Mega Man Legends. Wow, I need the hot take alert for that. I love Mega Man Legend. Conflict resolved. And the gameplay's not the best. And I know it's not the best, but it's still fun. Tron Bond bigger than better than Med Mega Man Legends? Uh They're different. They're different games. Although, I do like that Tron Bond focuses on the Bonds, because they're the most fun. They're, like, by far the most fun characters in Mega Man. God, I want to play Mega Man Legends again. I love that game. That game is so fucking fun and... Like... It's just, it's just a good time. I rarely play games twice on this channel. The only game I've ever played more than once on this channel, uh, is Quest 64. Which, by the way, we're nearing my annual run-through of Quest 64. Why would you subject yourself to that? I actually love that game. I, I love Quest 64. Like, not, like, no cap. Like, not ironically. Holy Magic Century? Yeah, that's the Japanese name, which is way better. Only one good RPG on the N64, and it's Paper Mario. Um, are you forgetting Ogre Battle? Hello. I'm sorry, my mistake. Are you forgetting Hybrid Heaven? How could you possibly forget Hybrid Heaven? I don't think I ever beat that either. I never, I actually never beat Hybrid Heaven. 
God, I should see. I should return to that game. Try it again. Activating combat mode. Mega Man X5 is the second worst Mega Man X game, and X6 is a better game than X5. Wait, what's oh, yeah, the uh, Netmon Matt? What's the what's the first worst? Oh, I think I could guess. Everything after X5 is garbage. Hey, hold on now. I actually liked uh, X8. X8 was fun. It definitely wasn't my favorite, but it was better than the... I actually... Somebody said in my chat when I was playing it, and I really believe them. I think X8 was um, Capcom's way of apologizing. Can this save me? Can this actually save me? Oh no. X8 was mediocre? Yeah, but remember, X8 gave us, uh, who was the fucking stacked, um, robot chick that helped you out? Layer? We got layer, so it's not all bad. Uh, if X8 is mediocre, there are no good Mega Man X games. X8 has a lot of interesting ideas and solid mechanics. Yeah, Emily, I loved X8. I thought X8 was really, really fun. I thought X8 was great. No good games? X through 4? No, no, I think... No, no, no. X, uh, 1, 2, and 3 are pretty good, although X3 is... I, I was sort of whatever on X3 after a bit. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Yuck. Hot. I think X3's music is like uh definitely its weakest at area. And I still need to do Mega Man Zero also. Whoa, what the fuck was that? That must have been a death attack. Mega Man X3 has an amazing hack called the Zero Project. Oh, I don't know about that. Does it let you play through with Zero? Activating combat mode. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Michael Slash. It's zero balance to work through the game, and you can swap between X and zero at any time. Like you use special weapons and never game change the dialogue. That's pretty impressive. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Never mind. Is the hack creator is a freaking wizard? That's always really impressive. I always find ROM hacks to be very interesting because you have to work around the engine of the game and basically what the limitations of the game itself are. Which is why that shit where, like, um, they program Super Mario World to play a, uh, to, like, program its own game into the game itself, that shit's insanity. Like, uh, that Taskbot run, where they, like, programmed the, the game Snake into the actual cartridge itself. That was nuts. That's, like, way beyond my brain capacity. Activating combat mode. Combination Link to the Past Super Metroid run. Oh, yeah. I've never messed with that, but I've seen people play it before. It's insane. Thanks. Thanks. This 
guy will cast death. But I'm not gonna let him. Oh yeah! There we go. Nice. Okay, what I get? Snow amulet. That's fair? Yeah, Zach fair. Uh-oh, very hard. Let's just randomly murder a character. That's good gameplay. Um, well, see, the thing is, in the first Final Fantasy game, um, one of the major story bosses is actually weak to Petrify. So you can just kill him in one hit. Um, Tiamat is not immune to break in that game. Which I always thought was kind of funny. Oh, great. Death isn't inherently awful, but when it's one character action game, yeah, because you can cover it with uh, with other characters and parts that just didn't work. Yeah, didn't some spells just straight up not do anything in FF1? I remember hearing a lot of that. Like literally, some spells just straight up do nothing. I think it's Lock. I think Lock actually literally does nothing in that game. Oh my fucking god, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Really? Red and blue were so easy to break? I mean, there's so many bugs in all those old games. Lock does nothing, Saber doesn't work. All the target evasion spell lowers your evasion. Healer works like Heal Aura. Yeah, it's... It's After insane. None of it, it, none of it works. Ooh, Chocobo! Let's see, what do we got? Hey! Oh, I got Chocobo too. What does this do? Choco Stomp, level 5. Oh fuck! I was still on my, oh, I was still on my item fucking thing. Int is a dead stat. Wait, in the original FF1, does int not work? Activating combat mode. I don't think Lux works either. Wow. Yeah, I remember the only reason that, uh, ooh, level up too. The only reason that, uh, Ninja is any good is because, um, they've got so much, uh, they can use a lot of good weapons later on. That's, like, the only reason to use them. I think the only, like, the actual most busted, uh, party comp in that game is like four fighters or like three fighters one white mage Ooh, vitality that's nice There weren't other games like it except Dragon Quest. Well, and Final Fantasy's whole thing was that you could, um, change your party. That was the big deal. I think that was my favorite part about Final Fantasy 1, was that you could pick the party you wanted. Turn down the game. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. See Chocobo. Probably a bunch more. Here. AP plus 80%. Wow.
You don't think Square's ever going to revive Tactics? Well, they did. They made two games on the Game Boy Advance. Hey, see you later, Wise fan. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, here we go. SP subject growth knows no bounds. Session is, uh, since an accessory component waiting in the caves. Okay, sure. How deep am I into the game? I just got past the time skip. Also, I'm gonna do this chapter that I'm on right now and then call it good. I think that'll be good for tonight. I've been going for a while. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I've been going for seven hours. Jesus. Huh. Pretty long stream. It's a good amount of time. Combat mode. Modulating phase. Oh, man. A couple years or Duke Nukem Forever kind of things. Uh. Step four after you do all the side missions. So give me a break, man. I really like the side missions. Oh, fucking gacked, dude. Ooh. I wanted the lucky stars. Get out of here, gacked. Nobody even likes you. Oh, yeah. Another champion belt. Oh, man. You know who I'm really fucking excited about? In, uh... You know what NPC I'm really excited about in FF7 Remake? Uh, Dio. Not as in, you know, it's me, Dio. But... Not that Dio. The FF7 Dio. Activating combat mode. Oh, Come on. Conflict resolved. Dio from the Gold Saucer. Yeah, I'm excited for the Gold Saucer remake too. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Okay, this just looks like. Okay, something tells me that that kills me. Right? It is called Death Side. Ooh, and a, uh, a summon. Ooh, and a level up! Nice, what am I, 35 now? 34. Yeah, hit him with the Baja Blast! Oh, wait, what the hell is this? Typhoon? Uh oh. Ooh, owie. Better get a fucking good accessory off of this. How much HP does this guy have? He can't have as much as the Bahamut. Bahamut has like literally 99,000 HP. How can this guy have more than that? There we go. Power this. Gold hairpin. Ooh, I remember that being really good. Gold hairpin. So that's MP limited nine 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 nine. That's pretty good. Um, and what was the other one? Power wrist. Wristband. Oh, power wrist. There we go. That's just attack plus ten. Never mind. That's the throwaway one. Okay, 
I'm gonna continue on. I'm just gonna beat this, uh... I'm just gonna beat this, um... This level. This chapter. Activating combat mode. Yeah. Oh, resolved. shit. Okay. Maybe I'm a little OP right now. Just a little bit. Didn't think of that. God, they're just, you know, for like, hyped up genome soldiers, they're really bad aiming. They're really, really bad at aiming. They're standing right there. which is like the polar opposite of RPGs? I don't think... Well, maybe. Maybe they are the polar opposite. So of course, they carry guns, not swords. Yeah, wouldn't they want to carry swords? Yeah. Gact wasn't... Sorry, Gact. Uh, Genesis wasn't famous for using a gun. This is? No, it's a copy. Oh, well, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Activating combat mode. Conflict resolved. Take that, bitch. Ponder has escaped the detention center. What? They attacked the detention center? No, but security was spread thin after the attacks in the city. Used the opportunity to escape. We found a way to escape on its own? The timing of the attack was just too perfect. Very possible Hollander is getting outside help. Which way did Hollander go? Security cameras on the 6th level have uh, positive identification on Hollander. This will be the 6th level. It should be somewhere ahead. Lower Junon and Upper Junon are connected through a central passageway. Uh, okay, great. If you tend to the wounded, it'll be a great help. Certainly. Meanwhile, I'll go protect Hollander from himself. Why does he have a bionicle weapon? Yo, bionicle is life! It better be Kunsol. Hey! Where are you? Soldier operatives are being sent out because we're getting attacked from all over the place. I'm on a chopper myself on my way to an assignment. You were on vacation, weren't you? You get cut short? You should the attacks will spell real trouble for us. What's worth? The chain of command is in shambles. Director Lazard suddenly disappears. No one seems to know where anyone is. Send me a picture. Send me a selfie. I miss your face. Love, Kunsol. Lightning, how's it going? Hollander, <laughs> <laughs> stop right there! You're not getting away. Hey, watch it. I'm in a hurry here. Don't get in the way. Did anybody ever watch the uh, Man at Arms series? Where he, like, makes famous weapons from video games and, and media and stuff? I always thought those were super interesting. are always cool. Yeah, I love watching those. Those are so dope. The Buster Start was a heck of an episode. Yeah, it was pretty cool. The 
it was starting to annoy me. They did make the Buster Sword way too big? They made it too big? I don't remember. I have to go back and watch the episode again. Stop! Uh... Is this... How much of this game is just chasing Hollander? Out here? Nice, got it. Ooh, and leveled up three material. Or level three. Does this hit everything? The power of soldier. Alright, here comes the big one! Here comes the boo! Oh, you know what? I bet I bet you they want me to hit it with magic. Yeah. Hit this thing? Hey, stop. Wow, it's turning radius is great. There we go. Conflict resolved. Alex Dominant DBC fusion with Gerard. Yeah. Fasciani and, and Gerard just did the fusion dance. been able to contain the enemies in this area. Look at this door, we can hold the enemy off. If we lock this door, we can hold the enemy off. Remove the evacuated residents here for now. Looks like they're... Things are going smoothly on your side. I, on the other hand, let Hollander escape. I should get going. We're counting on you. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Come on, soldier man. Do something about this, will ya? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I haven't arrived at my post yet. The director's absence has having such an impact on the operation's lack of finesse. How was your beach? How was the beach? You looked awfully stressed before you went. Why don't you ever look at me during? Soldier members are being deployed in response to simultaneous attacks that have been hitting everywhere. Uh, yeah, 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 sure, whatever. Close to the end of this chapter. That way is the air base. Is he planning to get away by air? This is bad. Are you sure you it's me you should be concerned about? Oh my god. Catch him, I'm gonna deck him good. Defense of the Junon perimeter. Enemy war machines are advancing on the evacuation area. Engage and destroy the enemy machines before they breach the evacuation area. Safety perimeter. Uh, okay. Oh, this is kind of like, um... What do you call it? Uh... Fort Condor. Activating combat mode. Man born only to be a parasite on the world? Love oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Zack's answer is always just, huh? Activating combat mode. Oh yeah! Activating combat mode. 
I'm a little, I'm a little overpowered for this point in its, in its story, but activating combat mode. We've already established that. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Activating combat mode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Conflict yeah. resolved. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Where's the, uh... Oh, yeah! Are there other guys up near the, the door? Activating combat. Yeah. How much do they want me to... Yeah. How many enemies do they want me to kill for this? Conflict resolved. Oh. Uh, quick question. So, were there achievements for PSP games? Did they ever have, like, trophies or anything? No? Okay. I was wondering if there was anything like, like a way to platinum a game or something. I don't think I've ever platinumed a game in my life. Conflict resolved. The only game I ever earned all of the, uh, the only game I ever earned all the achievios for was Bayonetta. That's it. That's the only game I ever did all the achievements for. Sekiro is easy to platinum? Really? Do you just have to kill all the bosses? Baru platinum FF7R? Did he really? I didn't know that. Wow. Star 5 Rail is also pretty easy platinum. Got my first playthrough without really going for it. Oh, nice. I think I'm close on Persona 5, but I haven't touched Royal yet. Although they sent me a code, I have yet to play it. Oh, wait a second. Holy shit. Uh, oh, thank you. I recognize this. It's from Final Not Fantasy VII combat. Remake. Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Right, right, right. right that's pretty good. Cool. And Faraga's busted. Hollander, must be that way. Man, enough is enough. I'm I'm a little I'm a little That's on the overpowered side for this. I didn't kill my wife. I don't really? care. Really? You sure? Hey. What is he? <gasps> oh, never mind. <sighs> Should have known. Stop him! He's supposed to die. Mission failed. This goes on your permanent record. Oh, great. This guy's here. Um, Sephiroth? 
Long time no see. Let the Turks take care of the rest. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. Not my permanent record. My the mom sees that. The situation is not resolved. Genesis copies have been sighted around the world. That can't be. We wiped out those Genesis copies. Well, apparently we did. Did Genesis really die? <laughs> yeah, Sephiroth, you're one to talk about did that guy really die, huh? Uh, He's the expert on the situation. They've been sighted in Midgar as well. I see. The slums too. Permission to return. Granted. Uh, uh, yeah. Take Not care. that I care. Okay, thanks, you too. Sephiroth. I mean, I know Sephiroth has, like, is, like, the top soldier, but does he have commanding hey, rank like that? I mean, he probably Modeo does. Hunt. The device Hollander was using has been stolen. Genesis? Probably. Uh, 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 we'll meet again soon. Sephiroth, uh, um. I'll hold you to that. Wow, what a bitch. Never have to see that guy again. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life. The gift da, of the goddess. Da, 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 Legend da, da, shall speak da, 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 of sacrifice da, 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 at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface. Quietly. Uh huh. Oh no, we're good. We're actually good. Never mind. Okay, so this is a perfect stopping point. Um, we're heading back to Midgar, and then I want to try and finish this up tomorrow. I think I'm just going to blast through the story mode and try and finish this tomorrow. Well, today, technically. Saturday, the 25th? Yeah, I'm going to try and finish this. So... Come back tomorrow. We'll oh sorry. I've been I've been going for a while now. How long have I been shooting for? Like seven and yeah, seven hours. Um Yeah, so we'll we'll finish it up. We'll finish it up tomorrow. And um Yeah, that that should be because what I put like 14 hours into this game so far. There should be like eight left. We'll just do a long stream and finish it up then. Um thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Um, there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. So I got stream tomorrow, and then Sunday, I've got D&D &D in the evening. Oh, that'll be perfect, because then we'll finish Crisis Core, do, um, we'll do, uh, D&D &D on Sunday, and then we'll start Final Fantasy VII Remake. Sweet. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, horse boy. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you followed, subscribed, cheered, however you wanted to support the stream, gifted, even just watched and lurked, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching my stream and choosing to spend your time with me because that's valuable. Time is valuable. So thank you. I really appreciate you supporting me in doing this, and it means a lot. I'll see you guys around. Be well.